video for my setup for One Book July. So I've participated in One Book July once I believe and that was a couple of years ago and it was for the, the One Book, One Pen, One Month challenge. Um, I think I tweaked it slightly perhaps I included uh, a little bit of watercolour for creative purposes because I was trying to be more creative but apart from that I did everything in one book it was pretty much set up like a bullet journal but with um, journaling sections underneath it so I would do the bullet journal for the day with a to do list tick box type system and then underneath for the day I would journal um, about my day if I wanted to do, or I'd do some drawing and that was the only bit that I added colour to and it worked really well for me. Um, I didn't participate last year which I believe was the Add a Project um, and I see some videos coming up about One Book July this year and I really wanted to participate because I found I really enjoyed it last time but I wasn't really understanding where I could go from where I went before. Um, and this year's challenge is go big or go home. And I think with everything that I'm going to do in One Book July, it kind of fits that criteria. So I will be combining um, certain aspects of One Book July uh, over the last few years to do this year's project so my understanding of it has always been there are no rules I think the first year it came out I'd, I'd missed it by a couple of weeks so I didn't participate and I remember feeling quite confused by the whole thing but when I saw people's um, videos at the end of the month for their entries on the Facebook group I kind of understood a little bit more about how to interpret it as my own sort of challenge which I, f I think is really cool because it's it's really good having people tell you what to do but then you're kind of still not working out what works for you if that makes sense whereas if you do it yourself and you actually know what will be a challenge for yourself and um, whether that's using one pen or whether it's going into a bigger book or a smaller book or something like that you are physically setting your boundaries to work out what works and what doesn't so this is what I will be using I haven't actually done a setup video of this yet because it isn't set up um, but this is my Meadowgate leather pocket size so for starters that already is a big challenge for me because I am used to using a regular size notebook and I always have used a regular size notebook I tried for about a week in a personal size because personal size filofaxes were my thing for a long long time um, but I found that in a TN style book, I didn't like the way a personal size felt. So this is completely new to me. I haven't started using it yet. I've, I've got books in here, but I've never used a pocket size TM. So that's kind of a challenge in itself. But that challenge was decided long before um, I knew One Book July was starting again this year. So I have got four inserts in here I believe two of them are diary inserts which my challenge is not about I will briefly speak about that but my planner side of it isn't actually what my one book July is about this year um, I have a field notes lunacy notebook I have my July Annie plans printables I have an August Annie Plan printables and then I have, um, this is the really thin Midori paper. It was a regular size insert. I no longer use a regular size notebook. I haven't done for a long, long time. So I just cut it down into um, pocket size. I just, you know, drew a template around this and, and it's not stapled or anything. It's just stuck in there as is. So... I've got some notes here, so I don't forget. July is going to be an incredibly busy month for me. So I have chosen projects which I think, and projects, not just one, which I think can set me up um, 
for August in particular, because I will be doing my own challenge in August, uh, which will be, you know, one project for August. And if this works this month, I'm going to try and keep that on every month. So in this lunar book, I will be doing a few things. So the first thing I will be doing for myself in this lunar book is a stop smoking challenge. So I stopped smoking for five years and um, unfortunately went back to it um, about a year ago when, when things started to go a bit pear-shaped, which I've always been gutted about. And I've always, you know, go to bed at night and I think to myself, I'll stop tomorrow, I'll stop tomorrow and it never happens. By setting myself this challenge in advance, preparing for it in advance, um, I'm more likely to give up. And I know that because of last time. So I will not be stopping smoking on the 1st of July. I've already thought about this. So my Annie Plan printable starts on Monday the 3rd. I will be aiming to stop smoking by the 3rd. So I've been cutting down already. I will then, three days before this, so on the Friday, cut down further. I aim, if at all, to have one cigarette on the Sunday and then Monday I will wake up and that will be me, you know, going cold turkey if possible. I do have a backup plan because it's always good to have a backup plan. I have a, a mouth mist, so if I really, really feel like I need that, I have that on hand. So that's the first thing. So I will be using the back half um, or a portion of the back half of this to write down all the days in July um, with a section underneath to say how I felt that day or if I, I got any um, cravings, was there anything in particular that triggered them off? Was I stressed? Was I just sitting there? Had I just eaten? Etc, etc. So that will be going in the lunar notebook. In terms of myself and my time, in the feather notebook at the back this is just scrapbook paper I am going to use this as a journal sketchbook just uh, I guess a creative brain brain dump I haven't been creative in an awfully long time um, I found that I've become so much more stressed since I've stopped being creative um, because it was very much my time. I used to sit down for a couple of hours every evening if possible, even if it was just for 10 minutes every evening, and I'd use that to journal or draw or do stickers or, or whatever. It was my time to, to be by myself with my thoughts and process them. And the way I process stuff is by getting it out on paper creatively. And I have not done that in an awfully long time. And I got very overwhelmed by my regular size book. And then I went out and bought an A5. <laughs> got very overwhelmed by the A5 book because I felt like there was all this paper to fill up. And maybe I just felt like doing a little scribble that day. I think that going into this uh, pocket field note size is going to be good for me because even if I only have a couple of lines I want to write, I can make the writing huge and, and completely fill the page out. Also in here is a books to read thing. Now this is just literally slid underneath and there's, there's probably more than I need right now in here. Um, I haven't read for a long time also. Now this is just a, a side project within the creative me project, I guess. Um, if I have time to read, if I find that I want to read, I will, you know, tick this off as I go along. Um, but it is not a do or die type of thing. This is a side project within a project. Um, so that is my project for myself. So it is to stop smoking and to find myself creatively again. And sometimes you do need just an unpretty creative brain dump where you're not afraid to go in there and you know have a bit of a scribble with a pencil or a pen or, or with paint whatever but I think the fact that this is small at the moment while I'm trying to find my feet again is really going to benefit me so that's project one split over two books now project two are physical things that need to be done which I have been procrastinating for um, whether consciously or whether it's been out of my hands and I haven't been able to do 
uh, specific stuff or, or, or meet a deadline on things, um, this is my time to get these things sorted and kick myself up the bum. So they will both be in this lunar, lunar um, notebook. So in the first portion of this lunar notebook, I will be doing a project with my partner. Um, the aim is for me to move in to his place within the next year. Now, he has a lot of stuff and I have a lot of stuff. So this is going to be a planning project. This is not a physically do project. Hopefully that will be August, September. And like I said, if this works, I will continue it. So we are going to pre-plan um, over the next week. And we are going to write down all the furniture I have, all the furniture he has. Then we are going to write down all the sort of hobby-ish stuff that we both have. So for me, I have loads of books, I have loads of games, I have loads of DVDs. For my partner, he has loads of music equipment, um, things like that, etc, etc. So they go on two separate lists. We are then going to break it down room by room. So what does he have in his kitchen? What do I have in my kitchen? Bathroom, bedroom, so on and so forth. When we get further back into the book, it will be what is necessary what is definitely needed from what he has at his what is definitely needed from mine what can be thrown away donated sold etc and that's what we're going to do we're going to break it down in terms of um working out what we need what we don't need uh blah 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 then we are looking at decorating. So our whole idea was it would be much more sensible to sort out what he has and what he is throwing away to then decorate his in order for it being prepared for my furniture to arrive. So that's what the back bit will be. It will be colour schemes, if any, um, what we need paintbrush wise or dusting covers and all of that, that will go in here. And that is our project together. If we manage to, to do that, and, um, oh, I forgot to say one thing. The only thing that we will be physically doing in July is emptying his cupboard. He's got quite a large cupboard in his hallway. We are going to uh, sift through all the junk in there and rearrange the space to utilise it. Um, and then once we know how much space we have to work with in there, we can work out what can go in there in terms of stuff that isn't used all the time. So perhaps his amps, some of my guitars, my bass, um, some of his guitars, um, kitchen equipment that isn't used all the time, etc, etc. So that will be going in here as well. The sort of back half, once I've done my stop smoking bit, will be used to plan out my college work. So I only went back to college. I was allowed an extension after um, my mum passed away. Um, and I have got so much work to catch up on by September. That is my final deadline. So in May, when they said I was allowed an extension, I had 12 assignments to do. I've managed to do so much since then and I have only six and a bit assignments left. It's been really hard. Um, but the struggle is now, in terms of class, college has actually finished. I am allowed to go in with teachers, but they're not always there and there isn't always um, people there to bounce off of. So once the summer hits, I'm on my own entirely. So I need to structure my week and do a proper timetable as if I was working or as if I was still in college full time and sit down and be like no you're not sitting on YouTube for three hours to watch Romany's Realm no you're not catching up on YouTube just yet um you need to you need to do your work um and that is what I will be planning in here and I will be doing a section a page sorry for each topic I still have to do with bullet notes about what is most important in terms of getting it done first or what would be the most sensible to get done first i.e the digestive system um i have to do an a3 poster and i have to do a nutritional guide in my head it might be best to get the poster out of the way first because then i can actually reference it while i'm doing my nutritional guide and i might have forgot 
a certain part or a certain enzyme had I not got the poster in front of me, that kind of thing. So that's it in terms of what my, my books are. So I'm kind of treating these two books as one. I have separated them purely so I don't get overwhelmed. That That's it in a nutshell. My planner section, I haven't started yet. So this is why I thought I'd speak about this last. Technically, this is a challenge in itself. I've always used a week on one page with notes in a regular size. I have never used a day per page because I've never felt that I had enough going on in my life to warrant doing that. It would just be filled with stickers and stuff. Because this is much smaller, I'm thinking, particularly while I'm I'm project planning and while I am sorting out my college stuff, I might need the extra space. So up here is, what date is this? So Saturday, July the 15th, I am going to do this in terms of my project. I'm going to write down... Um, some of the kitchen things that I do not need and we're going to go and spend 20 minutes in the cupboard. And then down here, OK, you know, I've got two hours to kill this afternoon. I'm going to do the digestive system, um, the first half of my nutritional book, that kind of thing. This will also be used as a creative um, sort of thing. In my last video, which I showed you was my, my black Midori um I told you I'd been using bright colours and stuff because I haven't planned or done anything like this in an awfully long time. I am not using one pen in this section. Um, I still stand by at the moment. I need to want to look at this. The only way I keep going back to my bigger Midori is because it was fun. I, I stuck stickers in there, which I've never done before on the scale that I did. Um, I used really bright colours, which I'd never done. I'd only ever colour coded um, and it wasn't working for me. It become a chore to plan. And I think when you're you're depressed and you're going, you've got stuff going on outside of, you know, planning stuff you should be doing, um, work, college, looking after the kids, etc., it can become very overwhelming to, to be taking 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour to yourself to plan. You feel like you're, or I felt like I was wasting time I could be, you know, spent elsewhere. Um, but then I also found that without my planner, I wasn't doing anything. It's a very weird situation um, to find yourself in and, and depression exacerbates that. Um, so I will be using my Kiki K pens. There's the three that I were using prior to that in here. And I will be using my sticker kits that I did some uh, videos on. I've got a sticker haul coming out. And, and that is just for me to cheer up a little bit. I quite enjoy rifling through stickers. Oh, that's a bit cute. I'm going to stick that in. So that is kind of under my me time and health creative project but as a side thing it's not a, a do or die thing like I said and it's not the reason I'm participating in one book July in terms of pen for my one book July I have three at the moment I still haven't sort of decided on so I have this Lamy which is a rollerball problem I have with it is on the Midori paper it takes forever to dry and smudges as does the Kiki K pen um, and on the rest of the paper it seems to be feathering and bleeding through slightly it's not too bad on this paper which is the field notes so I'm going to try it in here if it gets ridiculous I will just switch to my trusty um, paper mate what's it called Paper make flexi grip, you know, it's just bog standard clicker biro thing. Um, or my Hobonichi pen. Now, this is really tiny, so I tend to only use this in, in terms of tip size uh, in planning, in sort of the planner section of it. Um, but it's there as a backup. But I think it will be out of these two, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much it. The only things I have in here which aren't, um, you know, specifically related to One Book July in any way is, is this little uh, passport insert, which has got a few stickers in um, and, and a note from my mum. And 
this is just trimming so when I cut down these any plan printables I, I use these as shopping list and that's it I don't have any over the top paper clips I don't have any over the top anything really I'm trying to keep this as basic as possible just to find myself again um, and I have this bookmark which I made myself and that's it and that, that will sort of divide I'm actually in the process of making another one literally just slides through the hole so I might make one to go either side and then I can really divide everything up um, what I'm I'm hoping to work out planner wise through one book to July is whether I can get away with keeping two months in here like I said I've never done a day per page um, or whether I will need a monthly insert to kind of um, uh, to plan ahead type thing uh, but we'll see but in terms of it this project is for me creatively and and health wise I guess and the other side of this project is actual physical things that I need to get done. So that is my go big or go home. Um, I am combining a couple of the, the years of um, one book July. And it's my interpretation of it. And I have a month to see what works for me and what doesn't. And if something really isn't working at the end of it, then I know not to try that again because it's a waste of time. Um, and if something really works, then I can sit down and sort of think, OK, well, why does this work for me? And where else can I apply this to in planning and the rest of my life? So that's my phone ringing. So I'm going to go. I hope this video has been OK. I know it's a bit hit and miss and all over the place. I haven't done YouTube properly in a long time. Just finding my feet again. As always, any questions, please message me down below. And I really look forward to seeing what everybody else comes up with for the rest of July. All right, guys, take care. Bye.